Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Club Express Overview. I'm Samantha. I'm the Director of Education helping out today. I'm joined by Steve, who's going to give you a tour of the system. But first, we're going to go through a little bit of housekeeping. All of your phones and microphones are muted, but that doesn't mean that you can't ask questions. So today we're going to ask that you go ahead and enter your questions into the Zoom chat. I'll be here to answer them live so you don't have to wait until the end of the show. But of course, we will have plenty of time for some live Q&A at the end to wrap ourselves up. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel later, so you'll be able to review it, go back if you can't stay for the whole webinar, or if you want to share it with your board or your team. Today, Steve is going to give you a really good idea of the capabilities of our system. And if you want to explore more, you can, of course, contact our team or you can explore on your own. So while you're checking out the recording of this demo on our YouTube channel, you can browse our channel for additional tutorials and webinars. We have hundreds of videos covering nearly every corner of our system, and my team constantly adds new and updated content. And of course, you can check out our calendar for upcoming webinars, including webinars hosted by my team, which are free deep dives into features or topics. So without further ado, I will pass the baton off to Steve, and we will uh, take a little tour through Steve's eyes of Club Express. Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Steve Raftis. I'm the Senior Sales Executive with Club Express. Thank you for taking the time to come up here and explore who Club Express is. One added piece of um, housekeeping, uh, if you could drop in the chat which club you are coming from, and maybe um, if Sam could let me know what they are, I could start sprinkling the demo with some highlighted features that are unique to your organization. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I hope everyone's going to be able to see my PowerPoint. Sam, are we there yet? Is anyone? We have one person from DCNN in Louisville. Um, if you want to let us know what DCNN stands for, we are very curious. Keep them coming. And we can also see your screen, Steve. Great. So let's go ahead and get started. In the meantime, um, Sam will give me a heads up as to which organizations you're coming um, you're with. So let's get, begin. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Club Express at 30,000 feet, what we call general overviews. Before we get started, a couple things. I'm finding a cough. So if you hear some gurgling on my end, it's because I've got a lozenge in my mouth. Didn't want to be coughing in everyone's ear. So let's find out a little bit more about Club Express. Let me give you a brief history of it. Club Express was founded in 2003. Our first release was in 2004. We're currently on version number 68, and we average every three to four months a new release of Club Express. No maintenance to be done on your end. Features and functions, bells and whistles will simply just show up. We're PC Magazine's Editor's Choice Award with a rare five-star ranking. We have other awards out there as well from other online reviewers. Currently, we're servicing thousands of organizations. Almost 900,000 members are using Club Express. And what we provide is a holistic platform, a single source to be able to run everything for your organization. And because we're, it's a holistic platform, it's a single source to be able to take care of all your needs. And you're not going to be leaning on any third-party vendors in order to be able to take care of documents or emails or surveys, all built into Club Express. The platform itself is broken apart into three different components. There's the public area. And this is where you very simply, you get to tell your story. This is who we are, this is what we're all about, this is our mission statement, this is why you should be a member of our organization. You're gonna be needing to have usernames and passwords to enter the private area, and those credentials will identify you to the system. So for example, you could be identified as a member. Members will have access to their own account. They're able to update their contact information, register for events, renew their membership, make payments online through the system if they have a little bit more involvement because they are with committees or interest groups, we could actually secure a better online presence for those um, groups within your organization. For, for example, we could have a secured folder for your documents or your forms. Again, the point is a more fluid online presence. Taking a step back when you logged in, you could also be 
uh, identified as an administrator. These are the people that run the site. They'll have access to the 25 modules to be able to activate it. They control the look and feel of the site. More fluid communications, emails, blogs, forums, surveys, all built into Club Express. There's over 400 reports and exports that they can run. And the point is that once you start putting your arms around a lot of information, it frees up the time, the effort, the money that go into running everything. I mentioned there are 25 modules that come with Club Express, including be able to manage your events, your calendar, donations, your documents, your committees, surveys can be brought out of Club Express as well. And taking that a step further, it's traditional surveys, polls, online elections. Membership and business directors are included into it, as well as the ability to be able to customize your own forms. Club Express delivers a handful of unlimiteds. Unlimited pages for your sites, no limit to how many files and documents are uploaded, no limit to the people that run the site, administrators and coordinators, unlimited emailing. But the game changer that Club Express provides is unlimited tech support. This is to the people that run the site. They'll be able to call into our Chicago office Monday through Friday, 6.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening and speak with a live engineer. No ticket system, no reservation system, no online chatting. Simply just give us a call and you're talking to a live engineer. All right. That's so a big, with, that's a big plus, by the way. We think so. Okay. So thank you for mentioning that. All right. So time to get started. So just a brief little agenda is we're going to be visiting the public area and we're going to be logging in to take a look at the members profile. And then we'll explore some of the modules. Then we're going to get into the administrative area and review some of the more used, more common tasks and administrative functions. I have a couple of ground rules to keep in mind as we move along. First of all, the look and feel of Club Express sites are incredibly flexible. Please don't get locked into, oh, that's what I saw on the demo site, as to the only way the aesthetics can be delivered. The template design, the color, the themes, the pictures, where the menu is, what the, what the items are labeled in the menu, and how many there are. There are. All these items open to whatever you'd like them to be. The other thing I'd like you to keep in mind, as Sam mentioned earlier, any questions, any comments along the way, go ahead and fire them, fire them off. And either we'll take care of them at, the, at that moment or Sam will drop a little note in there. Steve's going to speak about that in a moment and we'll get to it as we move along. And let me go ahead and... All right. Everyone's looking at our Northwest Balloon Club. Let me tell you something about this organization. We made it up. They don't really exist. This is our sandbox that we get to come up here and explore and get a better idea of how quickly and easily I can move my way through the system, be able to navigate it, and the types of features and functions we have. So I want to be respectful of everyone's time. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's our banner going across the top. Here's our logo, our menu. We'll get back to that in a second. So I've Express is delivered with three different kinds of stuff. I've mentioned one of them. 25 modules that help you with administrative tasks. The other thing it comes with are widgets. Widgets are items that do a singular task. Let's call them baby widgets. For example, I want to have better or stronger integration between my Club Express site and my social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram. So we have widgets to be able to accommodate that and pull in the latest threads automatically from those respective platforms onto Club Express. I want to know what the local weather conditions are like where we're going to be visiting, or where are our clubhouse is. We would be able to have that as well. We have a YouTube channel. We want to bring in our videos. Well, what you'll, what you'll be able to do with Club Express is be able to broadcast them on our platform, but they're actually being stored within, club, uh, within YouTube or Vimeo. One of the more popular ones is our event calendar widget. This widget speaks to the calendar, and you tell it, look out so many days. Look out 20 days, look out 30, 40. You get to control whatever magical number that is. And anything that's been posted within the calendar self-populates in here and it keeps moving forward. For example, we're looking all the way up to August with this widget the way we've set it up. And you'll notice as I hover over them, these are live links. And I would be able to click on them and go to that event, get the description, the details, and then take the necessary steps in order to be able to register for it. And then when asked for, make payment for it. Can so we we've see, got. Can we see the calendar? Sure, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay. All right. Scrolling down a little here, uh, I don't think I mentioned the slideshow because well, it just seemed obvious. 
So scrolling down a little, I wanna highlight this area called Come Fly With Us. What we're looking at here is this part right here. You're able to drive people online in order for them to apply to become a member. The application process could be as simple or sophisticated as you need it to be. A simple version is give us some contact information, pick out your membership type, make an online payment. Thank you very much, you're a member. A sophisticated version is give us some contact information. We have this above and beyond information that we need from you. Perhaps there's a sponsorship from a current member that's involved. And then finally, the process is put on hold. They'll receive a message. Steve, thank you very much for your application. It's currently under review and we'll let you know when we have some news to share. At the same time, an email will be generated, usually goes to the membership director, giving them a heads up. Steve Raftis just went online and applied for membership. Please start vetting process. My point is there's a lot of flexibility there as to what that application process can be like. Getting to our menu, we've been exploring the homepage. Now, I mentioned three things come with Club Express, modules, and widgets. The third thing it comes with are custom content or static pages. Now, some of these pages could be what I call flat. It looks like a Word document. Here's some content, some pictures. Maybe you've dropped a link in there or some pictures. Some of these others, though, could be pretty sophisticated. As I start clicking on About Us, start scrolling down, you'll notice I have different pictures, different colors, different content. I could drop links anywhere through here as well. So a very modern online presence. And custom content pages could be used for whatever you want them to be used for. Do you want to talk about the history of your club? Do you want to talk about upcoming events? The bio of the boards? There's no end in sight as to how these pages can be used. Here's our calendar. Club Express comes with a single calendar. However, whenever you put items on this calendar, such as events or um, meetings, you get to determine, is this a public facing item or is this for members only? Or am I requiring membership in order to be able to register for it? So there's a lot of built-in flex flexibility with how the event itself is built out. Well, it's the beginning of the year, a little bit light on our events. So let's go back to time to see what has happened recently. End of the year, it's still a little light. Oh, wait, we start seeing some events here. You'll notice they're all color-coded. That's a customization that you have. Start color-coding your items so people would be able to see them a lot easier. We had this conference that happened. Let's find out a little bit more about it. Here's our title. We've dropped in here a picture. Videos could be dropped in here as well. Here's a description of it. What, more details. When is it? Where is it? Who the contacts are that are running this event? Their contact information can be displayed, and they get to determine whether it's going to be their phone number, their cell phone, or their email. Some more information. Registrations required. Payment in advance or at the event. This could be a simple event and leave it right there. We're going to take it a step further and throw in this feature in here where we have breakout sessions. This is where I start having many events within the event. So let me give you this as an example of what breakout sessions could be. Some of the trade shows I've gone to as a registrant, not as a vendor, typical Saturday morning, here's the hotel ballroom, you have your breakfast buffet, meet up with some old friends, maybe one or two speakers in the morning, and then we get lunch. But in the afternoon, from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, I'm in this one room and we're talking about A, B, and C. And then from 2.15 to 3.15, I get herded into another room. We're talking about something else, so on and so forth. Those are breakout sessions. I could list in here additional pricing for each of the breakout sessions. I could list in here what the capacity is and how many seats are still available. A little carrot in the stick routine, if you will. Great emergency. Better sign up. Not that many seats available. The point is... I'm getting full disclosure, disclosure regarding all the items for this event and then be able to take the necessary steps in order to be able to register for it and make payment for it as well. I believe it was Marla who uh, mentioned something about looking at the calendar. Marla, is there any kind of features or operations you were looking for? Uh, um, I don't know if you asked uh, us what we were, what our triggers were or what we're really looking at. Um, has that been done? We, no. It, it we has. are a member organization. It's a social club. Our mm -hmm. members are kind of older, not so techy. <laughs> we offer all the calendar is extremely important because that's how 
our members know what activities they can come to, whether it's cars or lunch or uh, so the calendar is, uh, that's why I wanted to see it because that is um, but what's important to us. And also uh, managing uh, the members and also possibly taking payments for like lunch. Okay. Um, so we're not that complicated. We're not that good. We don't need, uh, you know, breakout rooms or anything for anything like. So you very call. simply won't activate the breakout rooms, but what you can do is set up a dinner. We're going to be going out to dinner. We're going to be going to this one place. Here's what the pricing is going to be. Here's the details. Here's the person who's running that event. This is mm -hmm. how you can get in touch with them. And then you could drop in their pricing details as well. So the point is they get all the information and they'll be able to register and make payment for that dinner that you're going to be hosting. Okay. Very simple. These are all built-in features that we're talking about so far. So finally, at the end here, we've got contact us. Keeping in mind, we've been looking at the public area and specifically the Balloon Club's version of the public area. You get to control. This information is public for everyone to be able to see, and this is private. But you still need to have somebody to wave out to the world and say, do you have any questions, any comments? Get in touch with us. So at your discretion, you can include your mailing address, phone number, fax numbers if they're still being used, who the key contacts are for the organization. And even though they have email addresses that are posted, they're not live links. And we've, been done, uh, we've done that intentionally in order to avoid spamming. But we do have some built-in help here where you could fire off emails to these highlighted people. Obviously, this would be customized to your organization. To get into the private side, I need to have a username and password. Looking on the upper right-hand side of the screen, you'll see member login. Go ahead and click on that. I put in my username and my password. I'm going to pick on Amazon. I'm going to pick on Facebook, just like those guys. Check off on the box, remember me on this computer. For those that forgot their username and password, we got some built-in help so they could self-service themselves and get their username and password reset. This is the game changer that we had mentioned earlier. This is how you're able to get into um, reach out to tech support and give them a call, send off an email. All right, let's go ahead and log in. From my username and password, I was identified as Martin Smith who just logged in. That's why my name appears on the upper right-hand side. We've activated this feature that gives you a little pop-up, giving you a heads up, you owe some money. So I would be able to be alert of this, that there's a balance on my account, and then take the necessary steps in order to be able to settle my balance. There's another version of this pop-up that we have, time to renew your membership. And again, at your discretion, you get to activate whichever ones make the most amount of sense for you. We're going to go ahead and just close this out. As a reminder, there's a dollar sign. I owe some money. When I hover over Martin's name, I get a drop-down menu up here. Now, in the top portion, this is information that's getting pulled out of your membership directory. This is the picture that you've posted, your name, your email address, your phone number. This is where I get to log out of the system. If you've activated the app and you've sent notifications and messages to um, people, they will also appear in here. As a reminder, once more, you owe some money. Taking that a step further, time to renew your membership. You can review the details of your directory listing and then your profile. This is your account. One of the mon uh, mantras of Club Express is members being able to manage themselves. This is where they're able to do it. Up top, membership summary, just a quick little snapshot, type of membership I have, my status, when does it expire, my member number, when I first joined, when did I last renew. We have a custom feature that they've activated where they could download a membership card and they could be downloaded to their phone so it's always on them. They're never going to lose it. If any of this information gets updated, it'll automatically roll out to that uh, membership card and then they'll just have to download it to their phone. There's also another version of this where you can download it as a PDF and it's already pre-scaled so it'll fit into your wallet sleeve. Basic member information. Again, members being able to manage themselves, name, address, phone number, email, cell phone, all being taken care of by the member. I got a new cell phone number. I need to update my records. I'm changing my email address from Hotmail to Gmail. Need to update my records. For those organizations that have got snowbirds, we can accommodate two separate addresses in here. And the member just flip a switch saying, this is the address that I'm currently at. Additional member data. Customizable fields, this is how you expand your database to get that unique information 
for your organization. No limit to how many fields you have. There's 22 different types of answers to go along with it. Obviously, we got reports behind the scenes to be able to extract that information into Excel and start doing your own data mining. Standard member directory. This is where members highlight what information are they making available within the directory. Your options for visibility include, go ahead and show all my information or don't even list me within the directory. And then I got bits and pieces of that in between the two of them. I could upload a photo as well as a banner image. And this is my bio. So I could talk a little bit more about who I am, what I'm all about. This editor is going to be available throughout Club Express. So you're going to be able to see it and learn it very quickly and easily. And I include things such as links, images, and photos in here. So once I put all these pieces together, whenever I look up Marty within the directory, this is what I'll find. Very modern, social media friendly presence. Here's his picture, his banner as we just highlighted. Quick links to get to specific information, how he wants to be contacted. Personal information. You may need to have emergency information um, captured as well. We would be able to accommodate that. Bio, as we spoke about earlier, the interests that they have. They've act As a club, you've activated the feature where members could upload pictures into their own photo album and then share that photo album with others. This is not the club's photo album. That's a separate module. The blogs and any kind of achievements they've been awarded. So again, the point is a very modern online presence. Getting back into his profile. I can manage my username and password. Any kind of achievements I've been awarded can be posted here if I need to upload any kind of documentation. Attachments would accommodate that. Histories. Everything is captured from day one of running Club Express. What events have been registered for? What payments have been made? How they were made? If I ever need to go back in time, everything's posted right here. For example, I'm looking at the previous 12 months of all the payments that I've made. If I need to get some kind of documentation in order to turn in for reimbursement or tax purposes, it's sitting right here for me. Go ahead and just print it out and then turn it into the appropriate people. Again, that idea, members being able to manage themselves. If volunteering is the criteria of stewardship, we have a volunteering module where people would be able to see what opportunities are out there and be able to register for them. And then over time, they'd be able to come back in here and see, here are the items I've been given credit for for the last 12 months. And here are other items that are in the future that I have yet to be given credit for. Forums. This is one of the core modules that come with Club Express. Great way of being able to have more fluid online communications. No limit to how many forums you have. Some of the forums could be for all members, so they're able to read and write to it. Some of these other forums we could drizzle some security on. For example, you need to belong to this one group or this one committee in order to be able to read and write. Everybody else would only be able to read what's happening within those forums. Or we could lock it down. Your board of directors, for example, who needs to have that fluid line of communication that no one has access to, we could deliver that. It's your username and password that drive. These are the forms you have access to. These you're locked out of. And it's the same concept of security that we have with, with the forms module that is replicated within the documents module. No limit to how many folders you have. No limit to how many files get uploaded. Some of the folders can be in the public area for everyone to be able to see or they're for members only. Some of the folders are for committees, others for board of directors. Again, username and password is driving which folders you have access to. And I hope I'm giving you the impression there's a lot of functionality here that members are able to wrap their arms around and be more engaged and participate more within your organization. We're going to get back to the menu right now. Some of these items we've already taken a look at, such as home and the event calendar, we do have mega menu capabilities within Club Express. So when I hover over it, you'll see the drop down appear, multiple columns. We also have the traditional single column as well. Here's a list of some of the other modules that come with Club Express. We've mentioned photo albums and volunteering. You can run your committees out of here. News module, seeing the latest and greatest of what's ha happening within your organization. Blogs, perhaps some of the leaders stepping up and saying, here's my monthly message. Blogs is a great way of being able to do that. As we mentioned earlier, surveys is built into Club Express that includes polls and online elections. The one module I like taking a deeper dive in is documents. 
because everybody uses the documents module. Pretty traditional setup here. I've got all my folders on the left-hand side and I can support subfolders as well. You probably already noticed as I'm hovering over these folders, they become highlighted. Once they're highlighted, I simply just click on it and it self-populates with the files on the right-hand side that are in that folder. We support all formats. And as I've mentioned, no limit to how many files you upload or the space they take up. Simply come here, click on the file. This little pop-up appears, giving me some details regarding the file. And then I could download it so I could print it, save it, read it, whatever I need to do. I could also search for them as well. The searching can be based off of text. Keywords are the tags that I've linked to the file. The document format or the folder that's supposed to belong to. So there is some pretty intensive um, searching capabilities here. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we've had this bar following us on the right-hand side. This is my online assistant. So when I hover over it, it opens up. I could print the page that I'm on, or I adjust the, the size of the text. And sometimes if pages get a little bit too long, and get, um, I could scroll to the top, jump to the top portion of the page. And then we've got edit. All right, I'm going to take a step back here for a moment and talk about edit. I've mentioned a couple of times it's your username and password that drive what you're able to do in the private area of Club Express. But the role you can have is one of three people. The most popular is going to be a member. As we've discussed, members have access to their own account so they could manage themselves and they're all able to see whatever kind of information has been made available for the committees that they belong to. The flip side of that are the admins, the administrators. They get to see and do everything. They get to activate any of the modules that are already built into Club Express, blast out emails, manage your events, reports, et cetera, et cetera. In between the two of them is somebody that we call a coordinator. Coordinators are people who have been given assigned administrative access. You only get to do A, B, and C. You only get to do one, two, and three. It's very granular, the control that you're able to give people who are coordinators. There are seven layers of security that are attached to being a coordinator. So it's not the full access that you're providing with somebody being a admin, it's very controlled. So I'd like you to think about titles when you think um, to consider for coordinators. For example, I'm the treasurer, I'm the event coordinator, I'm the membership director. We could just scale the access they have down to those roles. My point's this, whenever you see the edit button appear, you have access to the administrative area. So right now we're looking at the documents module from the member's perspective. If I click on edit, I just flipped you over. It's the administrative side of running the module. Again, that idea, hover over any of these folders, they become highlighted, and then I click on it. Well, I could come in here and edit the properties of the folder. What's the name of the folder? Excuse me, the folder name, the description of it, visibility, who gets to see it? Can members do uploads? Yes, no, or maybe with approval. And then we could save it and then just automatically update all the rights and privileges that go along with the folder. Or if I've got documents that I need to upload, view documents, here's a table giving me the details regarding some of the files that are already in there. But if I need to add a document, click on add document. What folder does it go into? What's the title, the description, Cat, the tags? the links that I can um, attach to the file so I can quickly and easily search for it, who the authors are, any kind of dates I need to be aware of, visibility. Once more, we're talking about security, who gets to see it. Selecting the document, just like attaching a file to an email, that's what I'm doing here. I hit save, it's uploaded. That's it. Life's that simple. To, to, make, to really simplify this, if you could attach a file to an email, you could upload a document into Club Express. Here's what I think is the cool part about this. The 25 modules that come with Club Express have been engineered in such a way that they think and they act almost identical to each other. If I understand how to use one module, I got a good running start of understanding how to use all the modules. We're not reinventing the wheel. It's going to be the same handful of moves that you do over and over again that allow you to do all kinds of different things. So for example, I just showed you how you upload a document. This is how you upload everything into Club Express. What this means to you is that your ramp up time to understanding how to use the system is gonna be short, simple, and quick. We're gonna take this a step further because of the role of the coordinator. 
I could turn around and say, Samantha, I'm going to volunteer you to be the documents director. And I'm going to coach you and I'm going to teach you how to do everything A to Z to running documents, how to create folders and put security clearances up there, how to do the uploads and how to put tags on the files and run queries and searches on it. I'm going to coach you up. I'm going to let you loose. Thank you again for taking care of the documents module for us. In the back of my mind, though, I'm thinking to myself, I just gave Samantha a good running start of understanding how to do everything within Club Express. It's that idea. If I understand how to use one module, I got a good running start of understanding how to use all the modules. And because of that, training somebody to use Club Express becomes a non-issue. The last point is data fluidity. The modules talk to each other. If I make a change in one, it gets updated throughout the whole system. People jumping on and off committees, updating email addresses. So I'm not going to be wondering to myself, is Steve still on that committee? Is Samantha part of that interest group? No. If it's updated in one area in Club Express, it's updated everywhere. So that time and effort that go into managing everything is being taken care of. So normally I jump in and we'll go right into the admin area. But I'm going to reach out to Sam and say, how are we doing with questions? Anything we need to have a chat about? We are doing fabulously with questions. Uh, there are a couple of things that I know that you are typically going to touch on these, but if you happen to uh, want to highlight some things, there are some folks on the call who frequently send out newsletters. So maybe throw that into when you talk about blast emailing. And we also have some folks on the call very, very interested in committees um, and their entire organization is basically run by these committees. So that functionality is uh, important to them too. Oh. Okay. I just muted it. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything else we should add to the list, Cheryl? No. Uh, okay. So as opposed to jumping into the admin area, let's go take a look at committees. No limit to how many committees you have. And they could be subcommittees driven out of here as well. We could keep things simple as I want to view the members that are in here. And there are none. So let's go find out what our board of directors looks like. And here they all are. Their contact information is posted in here as well. And if you need to blast out an email, it'll be taken care of in here as well. Now, behind the scenes, the other modules that talk to committees would be able to accommodate the secured folders that you have specifically for the files for this committee. The forums group is already built up in order for the, the members of this committee to be able to participate in that forum. And the filter as to who is the, my latest board of directors or any other committee members is already built into our me email. So all those extra items are simply just taken care of. Is there any type, any specific questions about committees that Sam and I can take care of for you? Going once, going twice. All right, let's move along then. When I logged in as Marty, I was logged in as an administrator. And because of that, this link appeared in here. I was identified as an administrator. You get the control panel. If I was identified as a member, it would not have even a, of appeared. So go click on control panel. I'm now in the administrative area of Learning Club Express. I've got a series of tabs going across the page. We're going to go with people, website, money, association, communications, and support. Now, jump into the people tab. And before we start taking a look at the nuts and bolts, I want to highlight these three panels. These panels exist in each of the tabs, and the information in there is respective to the tab that you're in. By that, I mean, you're always going to have admin functions towards the top, which are the most common administrative functions per the tab that you're in. This is also where you'll find your reports. In the middle is always going to be the modules that are best associated per the tab that you're in. And in the bottom is setup. Now, setup does have admin functions. You just don't touch them that often. So to better manage the real estate of the screen, things you need to get to quickly and easily because you use them a lot towards the top, things you don't touch that often out of the way towards the bottom. All right, I'm in people tab, admin functions, people manager. This is where I start running queries into the system. This is where as an administrator, 
or someone permission to do so, I'm able to start making updates to the records of people in here. I could add members and I could add non-members as well. This is a unique feature of Club Express, being able to manage non-members. Great. What's a non-member? It could be guests that have attended your events. It could be people who said, I had a great time, put me on your mailing list. And now they're in the database simply for emailing purposes. So this is from Club Express's perspective, low hanging fruit. People, you just need to nudge a little and maybe they'll become members, but you still need to have that ability to be able to communicate with them. And that's why we have non-members. This is something that's interesting with Club Express. Our monthly hosting fee is determined by how many current members you have, not the amount of contacts you have in the database. I could come over here and start running queries into the system. So for example, I could start taking a look at who are the, all the people that are looking to become members? We talked about this when we first started, when we have a vetting process to taking a look at the applicants of Club Express. So I wanna take a look at anyone who's looking to become a member, just hit search on it, and here's the list of people that are looking to become members. And we just had a meeting regarding James Cahill, and we've elected to include him in our membership. And I'm simply going to come over here to prospective member, click on approve, and that's it. I just approved the membership. The ripple effect of that includes, he's going to get an email saying, congratulations, James, you're now part of the Northwest Balloon Club. Here's the link to the website. Here's your username, a temporary password. System's going to know it's a temporary password. Please put in your permanent one. Finally, please settle your balance. You're not going to be technically a member until your dues are paid. And you get to customize the language of the email, but that's the functionality that we're looking at. I can also come back in here and start taking a look at who are all my active members and then start adding other layers of filtering here. So I may want to take a look at what state they belong to or what membership type they have, what category, or what interest groups they belong to. Are they recent additions? Did they recently just join us? Yeah, I want to take a look at people who have got 30, 60, and 90-day-old memberships. I want to see the people who are in renewal cycle. I want to see the people who owe us money. And here they all are. Now, there's another version of this list in the emailing section of Club Express, a preset filter. What we're giving you here is the line item detail. And by that, I mean, here is each unique person who owes money to the club. The emailing version of this doesn't give you that list. It only cares about there's a pending balance, put them on the list. Now, something that's interesting about Club Express is we're going to need to get some information from you to verify your nonprofit status. And for and from there, you could use our merchant account for online credit card transactions. Separately from that, we also link up with PayPal and Stripe. You will have fees, nothing from Club Express though. The fees for using those respective platforms are between you and PayPal or Stripe. Something else that's a little bit different with um, Club Express though, we can go old school. People could actually use cash and checks in order to settle their balance. So Sue Anderson came by to one of our meetings said, you know what? I owe some money. Can I drop off a check? Absolutely. So someone who is permission to do so, simply look them up, click on the dollar sign, and we see that they owe $425. And they receive, we received a check. And we're just going to give some information here. Check number is 12345. And payment notes, 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 notes. Scroll down a little bit more. And I'm going to record the payment. Once I hit record the payment, a couple of items are going to take place automatically. Number one, email is going to be sent to Sue. We received your payment. Thank you very much. This information about the payment is automatically going to attach itself to her profile so she can go back in time and see $425 was paid on this date. And it's going to attach itself in the money section. So people running the financial reports will see $425 came in from Sue. All those items simply took place. I'm back in the control panel. From here, I can run my reports. There's over 400 reports that are stocked within Club Express, and they're available to you in various formats, including Word, PDF, HTML, CSV, and Excel. This is where I can build out my different membership types. Perhaps you have single memberships. Perhaps you have honorary memberships. They've given us 25 years of membership. We're going to bestow upon them a free membership. Family memberships could also be, or corporate memberships could be included in here as well. 
renewal expiration settings. So one of the biggest pains that organizations go through is membership renewal. I'm going to show you how we can simplify that pain for you. First thing that needs to be determined is what kind of calendar is being run? Does everybody get 12 months of membership on their anniversary from the date they joined? Or is everybody renewing and expiring at the same time? And if it's at the same time, do you provide a grace period? Let's say three months prior to January 1st, anybody who joins gets that balance of time for free and they're paying all of next year. Do we want to enable proration? Club Express only supports one type of proration, uh, proration that done on a daily basis. Renewal notifications. Club Express will send out up to three notifications. You get to say how they go up. Do I want full-time email? Do I want regular mail? Or is email the preferred way? And if there are members that do not have email addresses, it'll default to regular mail. You also get to establish the intervals as to when they go out. Okay, so what does all this mean? 45 days prior to membership expires, cl expiring, Club Express will blast out emails. You get to customize the language. Steve, thank you very much for being a member. It's been a blast having you around. In about 45 days, your membership will be expiring. Please click on this link in order to renew. Click on the link. takes me to the website. I go through the renewal process. The final step will be, how would you like to settle your balance? Do you want to do it online with merchant account or PayPal? Or do you want to print out an invoice and mail in a check? And that's it. I'm done in five to 10 minutes. Second notification is going to be sent out 10 days beforehand. Club Express is a smart system. It's going to look back in time to determine how many people actually renew their membership. Now clean them out. They're not getting duplicate unnecessary messages. And then blast out that um, second notification. The third one is negative five days. That means five days after membership expires, that final notification goes out. I need to clear up some points to make sure that I deliver the message cleanly. First of all, when you're emailing, you get to customize the language for each of the notifications. You're not locked down to these intervals. You can have these, be whatever you want them to be. So I could turn around and say, okay, the first one's going to be 35 days. And I really like eight days for the second one. And negative five days, yeah, we're going to keep that. And as if, if I hit save here, I just updated it. And that's the rule of thumb you need to keep in mind with Club Express. You make any changes and you save them, consider them live. The last item I need you to be aware of, when you've activated the third notification, only that one can be negative days. I set this up once, I walk away, Club Express goes on autopilot. I'm going to get back to the control panel. Those are some of the highlights within People tab. Website tab, this is where I build out my static custom pages. I could upload photos to have an inventory of photos that could be used throughout the whole platform. That means the website. That means events that could be, um, I could dip into that to get photos. Here's my photo album. No limit to how many photo albums you have or the uh, photos that get uploaded. I can manage my homepage through here. I could build out my different menus. Here's my public menu. Here's my members um, menu. Website options. Do I require a strong password? Let's say it's a yes. Well, is it minimal length that we're looking at, or are we going to be using diverse characters as well? What is the um, um, minimal length characters that we're asking for here? Do Are we going to ask people, every three or four months, you need to update your password? This we spoke about when we uh, first started. Whenever you log in, you get those little pop-ups, time to renew your membership, or you have a balance owed on your account. 2FA, two-factor authentication, is already built into Club Express. There are two versions of this. There is the one-size-for-all version, meaning I've activated it for all members, and two-factor authentication will just send a notification to their phone in order for them to have that unique password in order to log in. That version is built into Club Express. It's free. The other version of it is, no, we need to isolate a specific type of membership admins, for example, that will be running with two-factor authentication. There is a subscription, excuse me, a subscription fee for that when you're isolating a specific type of member. Search engine optimization, you could drop in here your keywords for SEO. And if you're doing anything regarding Google, such as analytics, this is where you would put in that information. Money tab. 
This is where I would be able to run my reports um, to see about all the incoming money that we have. QuickBooks integration is built into here. Even though we've highlighted QuickBooks online, we also link up with the desktop version of QuickBooks. I would simply just come here, click on QuickBooks online, connect to QuickBooks online. And what's gonna happen is this batch process is going to run and capture all the financial transactions from the last time you've done this. Grab all of that and automatically move it up into your QuickBooks online. And then once it's up there, it'll automatically ripple out throughout the platform attaching the financial information to the member's account. So there's no double entering of data. And bank accounts. I can link up as many bank accounts as I want to Club Express. So consider the member's perspective, their experience of coming here and saying, I need to renew my membership. I need to sign up for a couple of events. And there's some fundraising that they're doing. I'm going to make a donation. So all those items will then appear in my shopping cart. And then I'll be able to make a single card, um, credit card transaction in order to settle the balance. That's the member's perspective. From the administrative side of things, it's thinking to itself, oh, wait a minute, we just had all this money come in, but we're going to chop it up into bits and pieces because we're going to grab this portion and send it over to the bank account for dues because they renewed their membership. And these other items are for events. Well, that's going to go to another bank account. And the fundraising, that's going to go to a third bank account. So it's automatically going to be able to allocate the funds into the respective bank account that it's been attached to. Within the association tab, this is where I can do data exports to be able to extract all the information out of Club Express. And it's available to you in Word, PDF, HTML, CSV, and Excel. There is a report writing capability of Club Ex in Club Express, so you can customize your own reports. This is a subscription service not built into the system. Admins and coordinators, this is where you're able to highlight who your administrators and coordinators are, the people that run the site. So adding an admin is simple because let's keep in mind, admins have access to everything. So congratulations, Rose, you're now an admin. I just hit select and I made them an admin. With a coordinator, it takes a little bit more effort because I actually need to highlight what functionality am I giving them. Is it something as simple as that? Or as I said earlier, think about titles. Well, I'm the webmaster. I'm going to check them all. I'm the treasurer. I'm going to check them all. And this is the granular control I was speaking of, of how you're able to scale what administrative access you're giving to coordinators. I'm back into the control panel. Communications. Text messaging is built into Club Express. There are additional fees for it. $2 a month for your dedicated line and then two cents message received. Your members need to opt in in order to receive messages. I could custom write my own forms, run my forms in here, surveys we've spoken about a couple of times, blogs as well, news, emailing. Emailing is already built into Club Express. No reason to go to a third party provider. Taking a little bit of a deeper dive to take a look at how emails are set up. So let's start with adding an email. My first step is gonna be editing the basics. What category of a, of a newsletter, excuse me, email am I sending out? Obviously this would be customized to your own list. Who's getting this email? Is it going to be, excuse me, let's start again. Who's sending out this email? Name and email address. Are we sending it out now? Or are we saying here's the date and time that this email will be sent out. What the subject is, CCs, BCCs, HTML, how pretty and rich looking is this going to be? And are we going to track the opens? And if nobody opens it, are we going to resend it in, let's say, three days? So we start off with the basics. Distribution list, who's actually going to get this email? I have saved ones, but if we're starting from scratch, let's create a new list. And you notice when I hit create a new list, this a flash occurred and this drop down menu appeared. But behind the scenes, that data fluidity I spoke of took place. So it attached itself into all these other subgroups that we've pre set for you of isolating specific groups of people within your database. I spoke about this earlier users with a pending payment 
as to one of the filtering capabilities, just blast out an email to everybody who owes us money. So I would here determine who's going to get my email. Then finally on the bottom here, we're going to start off with template design. And we've already, if you've ever built anything online, recognize what these columns are, excuse me, what these icons are in order to build out the template itself. I could build it and save it in here. And then once I have it, I just drag and drop it over. And then I start populating it with information. This is, if you're building your newsletters within Club Express, this is where you would be able to build it out. If you are currently using something like Publisher or Word to build out your newsletters, you can keep going there. We spoke about earlier how to upload documents, and that would be a document. And then you would put it into the newsletter folder and then blast out an email saying, please click on this link in order to get into our newsletter folder for the February newsletter. Getting back to building it out, I could save it and continue so I could come back and work on it later or close it. As I just mentioned, you could build out a template. You could send a test to yourself so you could see exactly what it looks like. Or I could say it's ready for delivery and blast it out. I want to take a moment here to pause because I, um, as Sam and Beth, uh, had gave me a heads up earlier, there were some people that were interested in newsletters and emailing, and I want to make sure we're covering their key points, any interest they have, or maybe I didn't touch on something. So if there's any questions, please let us know. Going once, going twice. All right, let's move along. Finally, the last thing I wanted to show you with an emailing is that we archive all of them. And I could go back in time and see all the emails that have been sent. And there are reports to go along with it so I could see the results of the email that was sent out. Getting back into the control panel. In the latest version of Club Express, we released a QR code generator. So you could basically build your own QR code for whatever reason you want. Scan on this code in order to go to the custom page. Scan on this code to go to the event description. Scan on this code to go to a photo album or a file. No end in sight as to how these QR codes can be used. Also in the latest version of Club Express, we've rolled out dashboards. Graphical representation of key reports that are available um, that are key to you. Hovering over them, I could get some more detailed information. Click on it to get that information. Or if it's something that's scalable, I want to go back three, six months, one year, two years. There are already preset reports in here. To manage them, I'm simply going to go to configure. And this is another common wizard that you'll see. This is identical to how you sign, you line up your menu items. So you will have the available items here. Here are the available reports. And then just arrowing them over. And then just arrowing them up and down as to where you want them to be available on your screen. I hit save, I just updated it. We're adding more and more items, graphs to the dashboard. So if there's anything that you're interested in, please let us know and we'll see where it fits into our development schedule. Finally, at the end, support. Now, this is one of the items that Club Express keeps getting big rewards on. Everybody mentioned great sources of um, support that Club Express provides. Occasionally, we'll have various types of boot camps where we'll dedicate a couple days in a row to taking a look at specific portions or specific parts of Club Express. The latest one that we had done back in November was specifically to the design functionality of Club Express. Every page that we visited has this question mark on the upper right-hand side. So whenever I click on it, it'll take me to the online administrator's manual, per, um, excuse me, anchored to the page that I'm on. So I'm gonna go directly into the manual to help me on the page that I'm on. I could also do keyword searches off of here as well. If we have other supporting videos or documents, they would appear right here as far as links go. 
here are the manuals um, that we currently have and that you could drill down to find out more and more about them. Sam mentioned this when we first started our YouTube channel. This is where you have quick links to get to some of that information. Always best served going into our YouTube channel to get to the latest videos that we've published. You can speak with other Club Express administrators. How do you do this and how do you do that within Club Express? There are some verticals that we have a lot of participation in and also provide unique functionality. So we'll actually be able to separate your organization if it happens to belong to one of those verticals. And now you're talking to people who belong within that group. So you could really get the, the uh, insight from somebody in the trenches with you. How do you do this and how do you do that within Club Express? Finally, down here on the bottom, this is how you would be able to get in touch with tech support, their email, and their toll-free number. Again, tech support is available to the people that are running the site. Monday through Friday, 6.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening, Central Time. And that is anywhere from 30 to, let's say, 15,000 feet of Club Express. Samantha, how are we doing on the uh, questions and the comments? We're doing fabulously on questions and comments. I am going to steal the show from you very, very quickly because someone asked for a quick dive into our mobile app. So I have that pulled up on my phone here and I am going to go ahead and share my screen if that's okay with you, Steve. Drive away, Samantha. All righty. All right, everyone. So everyone is looking at my phone right now and I have opened up our Northwest Balloon Club app. This is actually, uh, so I'll back up a little bit. This is a demo app that's connected to our demo site. So when you determine that you want to maybe explore a Club Express mobile app, it will be branded to your club, your organization. It will look exactly like your website. Um, you can configure and be a different, a slightly different look and feel for your mobile app users. But for the most part, your app users, your members are going to be able to access all of the same features of your club website from their phone. Um, while I am speaking, uh, I will ask Steve to maybe gather some details on the pricing for the mobile app. I do have some info here. It's a one-time setup fee. So one time you determine that you would like the mobile app for your organization. As of today, the pricing is $200 for that application. Now, there is some pricing built into whether or not you're paying for your members to be able to download the app from the App Store, or if you want your members to pay, um, I think it's a $2 charge per download, um, the typical app download price that there would be. Now, as far as the app goes, I mentioned that you're going to be seeing a lot of the things that you would see on your website just in a mobile interface. So I have that menu at the top. You can see that I have my website menu underneath that horizontal bar, but at the top, there are all of these little extra features that you can highlight for your mobile app users. So your event calendar, your membership directory, those are things that are available on your website, but maybe you want your mobile app users to be able to navigate to those a little more quickly. Apart from the fact that it is just your website, there are a lot of extra features that are available to mobile app users only in the mobile app. A couple of those that I'll highlight, and you can see them in this menu here, are chat and meets. So the chat function, and I'm connecting to our demo site, so hopefully this lets me pop through. So this is our chat feature. It's a live chat feature that allows you to connect with other members. And you can see that this kind of looks like any other live chat that you might see um, where you can scroll through and uh, message other people. As an administrator, I'm seeing a few other options here, so I wouldn't have the option as a regular member to edit or delete other people's messages. Apart from that, there are some other options that you have like Meets. Meets gives you the chance to share your location with other people in your organization uh, for a set period of time if you're interested in meeting up with people locally. And we also offer direct messaging. So one of the newest things that we rolled out with our mobile app within the last year, six months or a year would be direct messaging. It's this really, really cool feature that allows your members to get to know other people in the organization even more. So apart from our chat feature, which is separated by channel, 
and it's essentially groups of people in your organization. Direct messaging allows members to pick and choose who they want to reach out to and talk to. Um, so there are a lot of really, really cool features of the mobile app. We do have tutorials and webinars that take a really, really deep dive into this, these features. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen now. Um, and so if you are interested in those, we highly recommend that you pop into our YouTube channel uh, and take a look at our tutorials. You can search for mobile app and view our tutorials there. It is a neat feature. It gives your members an extra um, way to stay in touch with each other. It makes Makes your organization a little more sticky um, if they're finding other people, you know, apart from your cause or your goal or what hobby you center yourselves around. That mobile app gives everyone a chance to connect with each other. So, a couple of other things that uh, came up there were some questions about the types of payments that can be accepted. We do accept uh, a lot of different payment types. So, you can set up your PayPal account, you can allow your members and non members to pay by credit card or by check. Um, as far as any other electronic payment methods like Venmo or Zelle, those are on our developers to-do list. We don't have an update on those, but they are things that our customers have asked for and they go on our wish list and our developers add them essentially to their to-dos. Um, and Sam, Yes. Let me jump in there for a moment. Um, especially if you're talking about um, Zelle and Venmo, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Yes. And we're going to go down that rabbit hole. All right. So we're back here on the uh, Balloon Club. I'm going to go to my People tab. I'm going to go to People Manager. And let's go ahead and pick on Sue Anderson again because she owed us some money. So she's at the meeting, like we had said, and she's going to drop off. She's She was going to write a check for 425 but she's like, you know what? Can I just Venmo you the money? Can I sell you the money? Absolutely, you can Let's keep in mind, though, what the steps are. If you Venmo or sell somebody the money to the club, they're going to get it outside of Club Express. So Club Express is still thinking Sue owes 425 As an admin, I'm able to come in here and say, process by separate system, payment notes, Venmo number, blah, 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 and then be able to record the payment. Now, this is the workaround. Sam mentioned it accurately that we have it in, a, in our um, development for this process to be run automatically, as opposed to somebody coming in here and manually making these updates. But for organizations right now that really lean on Venmo and Zelle, this is your workaround for it. Second point, I want to go back to what's something that um, Samantha had mentioned regarding the app. And I'm I'm the one who's splitting hairs here about it. The charge for the app is when it's activated, not when it's downloaded. And I need to be clear about that because you, there are people out there who are just keep downloading apps. We don't want you to be worried about, well, wait a minute, if these strangers are going to be downloading our app, are we going to get charged for it? No, they're not. It's the same login credentials that your members have that log into the Club Express online site they're going to be using to log into the app. When they initially log in, that's when the charge will take place. I need to take this a step further because like many of you out there, I have my phone, I have my tablet, I've got duplicate apps on both. Well, just because I signed into one doesn't mean I'm going to duplicate that charge when I sign into the other. So if I signed into my phone, it's as if I signed into my tablet and that way it's only a single charge when the site when the app is activated, not two, not two charges. So just want to make sure we're clear on that. Sam, back to you. Yes, thank you for that distinction. Very true. Um, all right, so going through the questions, so we did talk about, so there were a couple of questions um, that kind of talked about setup, maintenance, you know, maybe not anything as specific as how would I send a newsletter or how would I interact with my committees? Um, but just in general, talking about, you know, migrating from maybe an existing website that you've already put time into, um, you know, what does that look like as far as your workload? What is your workload as a website administrator going to look like moving forward? Um, so let's take just a couple of minutes to talk about that. We do not require you to have any coding experience 
or have even built a website before, uh, before you start building your Club Express website. We won't, you know, we won't beat around the bush. Sure, it can help, but it's not necessary. And full disclosure, before I started working with Club Express, I had no coding experience, had never built a website before, and I was able to do it. It's really not something that you need to be really tech savvy for. And the great news is, is that we offer a lot of help along the way. So when you sign up for your free trial right away, you're going to start getting periodic emails to help walk you through that trial, that setup to make sure that you're on the right track so that you don't sign up for a trial and kind of forget about it like we all do. Um, you can actually go through, experience what using Club Express is going to be like and really start to get a feel for that. Now, of course, setting up and launching your website is the hardest part. It's the part that's going to take the longest, and it's the part that's going to require the most work from you. But it's not impossible. Now, I'll come back to set up in just a minute. Once you activate your website, of course, remember, you are going to get help along the way. You'll have access to our online help system, our video tutorials. Even during your trial period, you can still shoot our support team an email. Uh, you know, I went through the help, I watched the tutorial, but I'm still not quite making the connection. Can you point me in the right direction? We're here for you. We don't just leave you to your own devices. Now, if you are going through that trial period, through that setup period, and you realize either you don't have the inclination or you just don't have the time and you want to pass that off to us, we do offer, and Steve will um, talk about this, we do offer multiple different packages, different levels of help, different levels of what you want us to do. You know, if you're in the mood for something that could use a little bit of a facelift, we offer packages that include a little bit of a design, uh, a little bit design time there. We also offer basic packages where you're just like, I just need someone to set up some pages for me, set up maybe my document library. Um, you know, we we will work with you to determine the best fit for you. Um, so Steve has our pricing page pulled up and he'll talk about some of those pricing details in just a bit. Um, and I want to talk about the time commitment that you'll have going live. So once you go live, a lot of people may think that your work is done, but as some people in the chat know, your work is not done. Your website is a living, breathing thing. You want people to have a reason to continue to visit your site and interact with it. So of course there is some maintenance involved. When we say maintenance, we don't necessarily mean maybe, you know, fixing something that's broken or not working. We're talking about, you know, you're going to want to pop in and post a blog post or post a news article, maybe add some events to your calendar. So Really, there isn't a set amount of website maintenance. It's going to be based on how active of an organization you are. If you're an organization that runs a ton of events, if you have discussion forums activated that need to be moderated, if you're sending out a lot of newsletters, emails, communications to your members, you're going to be going into your website and doing things on the back end all the time. But if you're an organization that maybe operates seasonally, cut that down. If you're an organization that's really small and you're maybe only having, you know, a few events a year, you really want to use this for member management. Maintenance might be a little bit less for you. Um, what you can certainly do is try out that free trial and see how it feels, you know, see how, how quickly you're able to do things. As Steve mentioned, a lot of our modules will look and feel very similar to one another. So you get one down pat, you're good to go for most of the rest of them. You'll see a lot of the same functionality across the board. Steve, if you'd like to talk about some pricing now that I've uh, hogged the microphone for a little bit there. <laughs> no problem. So the other thing I wanted to highlight and to piggyback off of Samantha's point, there are many organizations that speak to me. It's like, you know what? We really want to give it a try for us to build out our own site. It could be an economic consideration that's really driving them. My advice to them is set an alarm for 30 days. Even though the trial is for 60 days, set it for 30. And then be honest with yourself to determine how much time and effort have I put into it and what are the results. If you're happy, keep marching, build it up. If not, you always have a chance to switch gears and start leaning on Club Express to build out the site for you. At that point, you need. Um, we're going to be talking about three different things in order to determine which package would be best for you. How much of a wow factor do you want to the look and feel of the site? The number of custom content or static pages you want? And if you want training, 
it's those three items that determine which one would be the best fit for you. The starter pack family will be leaning on templates that are already pre-built for you that are going to give you a very nice looking site. And if you want to take it a step further, Starter Pack Plus will also include more static pages and training. I'm a big fan of training. You're learning how to drive a new type of car for the first time. And you just need to be able to have somebody coach you and teach you. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. The way training works with Club Express is there will be a time set up to speak with one of the trainers in order to get a better sense of this is how we operate. These are our operations and our requirements. This is how we're going to be using Club Express. And from that conversation, the agenda for training will be developed. It'll be done over Zoom, so the session can be recorded, and you could always go back in time to reference it. You can have as many people as you want on your side, and training will be done over several sessions. With the builder pack, again, templates are already set for you, but they're going to give you a little bit more of a wow factor. Uh, we're going to have a separate engineer usually. More resources are put into building out a builder pack. And those resources are usually put into, I want a very well looking site. These are one-time charges. Um, so let's take this a step in a different direction. What can you expect as far as line items go for running Club Express? Year one, you're going to have locked in three items. You're going to have a setup fee for the site to be developed. You're going to have an SSL certificate charge. And that's going to be determined by how many years of service or coverage you're getting. The last thing you're going to be having is a hosting fee. Hosting fees are going to be determined on the last business day of the month. We need to know how many people are logged in, how many current um, log have login capabilities, how many people are able to go into the private area. And that's going to be determining your monthly hosting fee. That happens on the last business day of the month, every month. And you're always paying in advance. So in January, you're paying February's hosting fee. February, you're paying March's. We don't have a contract. We have a service agreement. We don't want people to be locked into somewhere they don't want to be. So you can walk away whenever you want with no penalties. So year one, the items include your setup fee, your SSL certificate, and your hosting fee. Year two, moving forward, it's just the hosting fee. All other charges are items that you've ordered. We have QuickBooks, but there's going to be an integration fee for that. We have custom modules or the virtual membership card that we spoke about. We want to be able to write our own reports. These are items that have, you've ordered, and all the pricing details are posted on Club Express in the pricing area, and then extra cost functions. So the first step will be determining which package would be the best fit for you. And then we'll take it from there. Sam, how are we doing on questions? I know we're, we're going a little bit long, but I think we're just about to wrap it up if no more questions and comments are out there. We did have one question if we could show off our storefront just very briefly. Um, it's And while you're pulling that up, I'll speak to it. So our storefront is a built-in module. It's not something that costs extra to activate on your site. And it allows you to sell anything that you would like to, physical goods, digital downloads. You can set up separate pricing for members and non-members. You can impose limits on the number of things that people are able to purchase. You know, if you only want members to be able to purchase one of your limited edition hats, you can set that up, offer discounts, show how many are in stock, allow back orders. It's a really simple interface for your users to visit, typical storefront on the back end. You are able to manage inventory. You're able to handle different shipping options. So you can set up shipping based on weights of products. You can set up shipping based on regions and locations. There are a lot of uh, built-in features. The great news is if you pop over to our YouTube channel, we have a tutorial series that walks you through setting up your storefront. Um, so it's a uh, they're all short tutorials, and you can pick and choose which one you want to watch to kind of get a feel for what that's going to be like. Um, and one of the things that I'd like to also point out, I mentioned some tutorials in a lot of uh, my answers and comments, and I would like to note that the tutorials are probably a really good way to kind of get a feel for what 
what your club experience is going to be like for you. Um, so definitely take a look at those to, again, take those deep dives into some of those features. Um, and as Steve will mention, you can always reach out to him. I did drop Steve's email address in the chat. Um, and uh, Steve's con Steve will uh, pass out his contact information. Um, apart from that, I think that we have probably covered a lot of the questions, Steve. Amazing questions. Fabulous demo. Thank you very much. Thank you for the participation. It's people who have shown up to find out what Club Express is all about. That really leads how great of a demo it's going to be. Thank you for all the questions and participation um, and obviously your time. In about five or 10 minutes after we get off this webinar, someone's going to be thinking to themselves, wish I asked you this. Well, here's my contact information, my phone number, email address. Just get in touch with me. And if I'm not the person who's going to be answering, I'll make sure it gets into the right hands. When you, If you happen to reach out to me by email, please let me know which organization you're with so I can make sure that it gets to the appropriate account executive. Thank you once more for your time. Samantha, awesome job as always. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.